All right, Glenn Huntley was asking me about doing a video for different kinds of worms. And what we have is three of the worms that I own, besides the red wigglers. This one here is a European night crawler. You can see the striping. There's the clotellum. Striping all the way down. And then on the back end, you see that yellow tail. There's a yellow tail on a euro. Where you go? There he is. There's the yellow tail on the euro. Uh, this guy here is Perionyx exophetus, and he's got a short, very dark colored head. There's the Quotellum. See how short that head is between the space there? No striping. Dark coloring. That's the casting actually inside of the worm. A little lighter tail. But that head is dead giveaway with the flush reddish Quotellum. And this inchworm type movement that they have. And then over here, this guy kind of looks like he might be getting a little protein poisoning. I'm going to have to check on these guys. But this is an African night crawler. They also have a bluish tinge, fairly short head, but the head isn't that dark contrasting color to the body. Um, the clotellum's up near the front there, but it usually stands out a little more. Um, you can see it actually does have a bit of a bulge on it compared to the the PE, there it is. When he shrinks up there, you can see the Quotellum bulges. The Perionyx, he, uh, no matter what you do to him, he's not going to really bulge on that Quotellum. It's pretty flush. So these are basic differences between those three species of worms. And there's back to the European. Very distinctive striping there. Okay, I hope that helps everybody out.